take it away. Okay. So all right, all you. Good job. Okay. Hey Mickey, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good, man. Uh, I gotta say, man, off season was really good. I was so thrilled with it. I love these type of films where it's like these small towns and there's like a big secret behind it. it I thought of films like The Howling and The Fog, you know, especially. Mm -hmm. And it, this was really, I just couldn't stop, keep my eyes off of it. Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> so how did the idea come about for this film? Um, so, you know, I think this was definitely an effort to do something that was a little bit more kind of in line with um, kind of like Southern Gothic stories and like, you know, I say like finding a uh, an old book in an antique shop or something that has like old kind of creepy stories of the South. Um, and yeah, and, and basically kind of like doing something that was really kind of dreamy, surreal. Uh, in the vein of like the Twilight Zone, very heavily atmospheric. These are all the things that I really wanted to try to um, to kind of capture uh, with this one. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Those were kind of the jumping off pieces. That's awesome. Was it influenced by anything other than like, like I said, it reminded me of like John Carpenter's The Fog, where mm -hmm. it, you know it has like the small town and it has like the ghosts and all that. Was that like an influence mine, or you just came up with it? Um, well, yeah, I mean, sure. It's, I think that, you know, some of these things are, are inescapable in a way, uh, uh, but the fog for sure. And, and, you know, we actually use some of the Alan Morehouse songs from the fog in off season, uh, because as soon as I found out that we had access to that library, I was like, well, of course I would be, uh, stupid not to. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, the, the, that was kind of, you know, um, other like Japanese horror, like uh, dark water, um, uh, uh, obviously silent Hill, you know, you can't escape that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the video game siren fatal frame, like those kind of like weird ambient, uh, 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 uh things I think were, were definitely also part of it. That's awesome. And you have a great cast in this film. I mean, Jocelyn Donahue was amazing in this. Joe Swanberg. Richard Brake is legend. So that, that's so great to have him as the bridge man. It must yeah. be a blast working with these guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all they're all brilliant. They're all as great as they uh, you know, they're it's it's always fun to work with people who are just super great to work with and are, are down and aren't like uh, you know, uh difficult because you know, this was a, a pretty uh, treacherous shoot in terms of the, the weather and, and everything, you know, one day on the first day, it was like, uh, 90 degrees and 90% humidity. <laughs> and then the days with Richard break, it was 30 degrees and uh, 30 mile an hour winds. And, and then some days people would get eaten alive by bugs. So it was really everything Florida could throw at this film crew. It did. And, uh, and everyone was so great about it. That's awesome. Yes, I did notice it was shot in New Smyrna Beach. And I, believe it or not, I actually live about 25 minutes from there. So oh. I was quite surprised. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm right in. I'm in Deltona. So I was like, right. I'm like literally right there by New Smyrna. I'm like, cool. I was like surprised they shot it there. But yeah, you're right. The weather changes like on and off. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, it's like the, the best thing about uh, th that place is, is, you know, that Main Street was built in the 1920s. So we used very... I mean, all of that stuff was mostly practical. There are very few CGI moments in the film, and it really is a testament to just how that place looks. And it's it, uh, we got really lucky that the town let us uh, run run rampant there. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad that they, you know you stuck to the practical effects. I mean, they they, was, they were amazing here, and I really loved the colors of the film. It was just all blues and grays, and I mean, you don't really see anything like that these days, but just it just it was perfect for this movie thank you yeah yeah uh it, it you know i i think we got really lucky because you know uh if you hope and pray that that the weather is going to be stormy it never is right if you write that into a script you're screwing yourself but for whatever reason you know all those overcast skies just showed up the days that we needed them so uh i think i think it was uh really fate helping us out on this one i totally agree with that <clears throat> I got to say, though, also, um, April Lynn Scott was amazing as Miss Emily. She gave quite the scare in the film. Like, she <laughs> yeah. was so I just like she like when the jump scare showed up, I literally jumped back. I'm like, whoa, what just happened here? And she she was phenomenal in this. 
That's awesome. Yeah, th I think this was her first movie, which is so funny. Um, uh, you know, because I rarely, I rarely read. You know, I don't have actors audition because you know most of uh, the actors that I work with, like I'm familiar with their work, and I'm just I know you're a good actor, so why would I need you to to audition? But uh, when we were actually pulling uh, locals uh, for for the various scenes, um, we needed Florida locals. And she just read for the role of Miss Emily. And I was like, she's just got such a brilliant look and she's got such striking eyes. And um, and yeah, so this is her first film. And so I'm very, very, very happy that it, it, it all worked out. I love it. I love when new actors show up and they just like dominate in their first lead role. You rarely get that these days. Yeah. Every, everyone's, yeah. Got, everyone's got to start somewhere, but I, you know, she's a perfect example of that. A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. So aside from the weather, what else, what other difficulties did you face and how long did shooting take? Uh, we, sh we were down in Florida for almost a month. Um, and, and by and large, I mean, you know, we, it was really, the, the thing about this movie was um, I was very meticulous in my planning and storyboarding. So, we, you know, because I wanted a lot of the exteriors to be shot during magic hour, which is really kind of difficult because you're, you're racing against literally like you've got, they call it magic hour. You got less than an hour to to accomplish what you need to accomplish, um, and so that was that was the challenge. But we really took the time to be to really actively plan, and then uh, you know we really dodged a bullet because the movie wrapped, and then about three weeks or something later, uh, the COVID shut down everything. So oh, um, yeah. you got lucky. so <laughs> yeah, uh, that was very very fortunate because we talked about oh maybe we should push a month while we were figuring everything out. And if we had, we would have had to, you know, cancel the movie or, or pick it back up later, which oh, would have been I'm, a disaster. <laughs> I, for one, I'm glad that you got through it in time. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> it was, it was a huge bullet dodged. And, but then it was great because, you know, uh, my editor Valerie and I, uh, we lived together. And so we could take as long as we wanted to edit because there was, it was a race to nowhere. We didn't know whether, Film festivals were ever going to happen. We didn't know anything. So um, we got to take as long as we wanted editing, which is always a pleasure because I editing's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to make sure you got it right. got to make sure it's tight and everything. And mm. it was for this one, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, you know, usually we have big screenings of our cuts for our different filmmaker friends and everything. But this time we we couldn't. We, uh, you know, had to, you know, only have a couple people at a time or send links. And uh, that's always stressful. You, but, uh, but I'm thankful that the movie kind of worked itself out. <laughs> that's awesome. So what is next for you that you can talk about? Um, I have I have some things coming up that I can't quite say yet uh which i'm i'm very i'm not being facetious but uh oh no we know. know we know we know how the people are <laughs> you know, yes those, right those uh, you know I, I took a little bit in between this and my in between off season and my last one and i'm you know i plan on having uh, a much more rapid output uh in the future but it really is you know obviously it's like we're still in a pandemic which is you know hopefully coming to an end so that will make you know lo the logistics of filmmaking easier because you know shooting a movie where everyone is in a mask all you know 20 hours a day and to, it really just kind of kills <laughs> the vibe so uh, uh hopefully it'll become a little bit easier soon let's hope so so off season will be out on march the 11th and those yes. who just love a good southern gothic horror feel they miss films like the fog they're going to want to see this one and mickey you did a fantastic job on thank the film. And thank you thank so you. much for taking the time to talk about the movie. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. You take care and stay safe. See you. You too. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.